Hey everyone, it's Brian with TheUnlocker.com. Today we're here with the Motorola Droid Razor and we're going to show you how to install and uninstall the Bootstrap Recovery. Alright, we are going to show you how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery using Bootstrap. Uh, and then we're also going to show you how to install it so that uh, every time you boot your phone, it first jumps into the Clockwork Mod Base Recovery, which is very, uh, it could be a bit of an annoyance, but it's very nice to have. It's one extra step when rebooting your phone, but it's going to ensure that if you install a ROM that's not uh, working properly or you're not able to boot, you're in a boot loop, uh, it will enable you to go in, make changes, flash a new ROM, that kind of thing. All right, under the video on theunlocker.com, there will be a link to an XDA post. There's a couple of files that we're going to grab from that link. Uh, the first file is Bootstrap, and then the second file is basically uh, Clockwork Mod on Boot. So it's a zip file that you're going to flash from Clockwork, and that's going to allow you to always have the option to, uh, actually it's going to force you to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery every time you boot your device. So download those files and get them to your SD card. Uh, it is the SD card-ext. Uh, that's the file for where you're going to want to put those in. You can see we've already got the Bootstrap application. Go ahead and click on it. Select install. Hit install again. And it's going to go ahead and install that. If uh, it doesn't allow for that, uh, then you may have to go into your menu, settings, Go down to applications and then make sure your unknown sources is checked. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and launch that application and this is your bootstrap uh, application. It gives you access to basically flash the bootstrap recovery and then it gives you the option to reboot into recovery. Realistically, this is all you need to flash ROMs and things like that. The second part of the video, when we talk about the zip file we're going to flash, which is going to make it persistent on boot, that's kind of optional, uh, but it is definitely recommended. And if you've seen our other video uh, using SafeStrap, it definitely makes it more safe uh, than just the bootstrap. Because if you load up a new ROM and you get caught in a boot loop, uh, if you're using Bootstrap, there's no way for you to uh, actually get into your recovery menu to uh, fix your files. So you would have to use your fast boot files and all that stuff, and it creates a lot of headaches. So uh, adding this, uh, you know, Clockwork Mod boot on or recovery on boot uh, is going to be something that that is highly recommended, but you don't necessarily need to do. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click on Bootstrap Recovery going to get a super user uh, notification go ahead and allow that and then you get prompted with a little banner that says success and then go ahead and hit reboot recovery and then from here it's going to reboot your phone and then we're going to come back up and we're going to be in clockwork mod And there you have it. We've booted back up and we've got our Clockwork Mod Recovery running. And from here we can make backups. We can, uh, you know, flash whatever ROMs we want to flash. Uh, so this is really all you need. However, like I said, we recommend that you continue watching the video and go on to the next step. Alright, I've powered down the phone and I'm doing this so I can show you why we need this next file. We're going to go ahead and power it on. And now you can watch here, uh, just with the Bootstrap application, we're not going to get any kind of prompt or anything like that to bring us to Clockwork Mod Recovery. We can't press and hold the volume down key and with the power key or do anything like that. It's simply not going to let us boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So you'll see here in a second that our normal boot animation is coming on and we're booting into our ROM. Now that's not a problem as long as your ROM boots, uh, and that's really the intent of the rest of this video is to make sure that you know if something goes wrong, you've got a bit of a safety net and can get back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, restore a backup, flash a new ROM, something like that. 
All right, now before we go any further, we are going to need a second file, and it's this uh, Razer CMW on boot dot zip file. And essentially, this is going to allow us to uh, we're going to flash this in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and it's going to allow uh, Clockwork Mod to be the first thing that, that you're greeted by when you power up your device. So if you have an unresponsive ROM, you'll you'll boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery every time. So once you download that, put it on your uh, external SD card. Go back into your Razer. Um, bootstrap application and then if you if you've done this in one failed swoop basically you could have downloaded the uh, bootstrap recovery and the zip file and done this all at once uh, but obviously we broke it apart so you know certain people who want to just stop with the normal bootstrap recovery and don't want to make it uh, persistent uh, then they can do that uh, but we're showing you here so it's very important now at this point in time that you press uh, bootstrap recovery again even though we've already done this it'll tell us success now reboot recovery if you don't press that bootstrap recovery button again uh, essentially once you flash this ROM it's still not going to uh, to allow it to work so make sure that when you go to install this zip file make sure that you press both of those buttons and you reinstall uh, basically the the CMW recovery and then you reboot into recovery all right now that we've done that let's go ahead and if you haven't done a backup now's as good a time as any uh, it's always a good idea to to make a uh, backup before you start playing and installing you know various zip files and that kind of thing uh, but we're gonna go ahead we've already done our backup so we're gonna hit install zip from SD card and we're gonna choose the zip from SD card and we're going to use that Razer dash CMW dash boot dash global uh, yada 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 dot zip. Go ahead and install that file. Confirm it. It doesn't take very long to flash, as you can see. So now it's all done. It says completed. Good luck. And then now we're going to go ahead, go back, and then reboot. Once we get into our normal uh, you know home screen there's one more thing that we're gonna have to do to ensure that uh, we have persistent boot alright the next thing we need to do is we need to go and open our app drawer and scroll over and open our super user application then you're gonna click on this bootstrapper app and the status here you wanna set this to denied and the way you're gonna do that is down here you'll see this little Android face and it's kind of got a split in the middle of it. If you click on that, it'll switch between allowed and denied. So go ahead and make sure, because that should be allowed at this point in time for you. Go ahead and click on that and make sure your status is set to denied. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to reboot our phone. Power off. And as soon as the screen goes blank, we'll go ahead and power it back on. and then we should come up in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now just a quick note, I have done this a couple of different times and uh, no matter what, if I you know, go through the entire steps, I can't get it to, uh, to work right on the first boot. It always takes a second boot. So you know, right now uh, I'm expecting to see Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, which I will. Uh, see and there it is however previously to this when I first uh, followed all the steps and then I went ahead and rebooted my device it rebooted back into the normal home screen uh, and nothing took effect I powered the phone back on or back off back on again and then I was immediately taking a clockwork mod recovery the developer doesn't make any note of that but I just wanted uh, you to be aware that way if you followed all the steps perfectly and you say hey, wait this still isn't working for me go ahead and you know turn off your phone one more time turn it back on and you should be greeted with the clockwork mod recovery now you're gonna see this recovery every single time you boot your device uh, so even if it you know there's a, uh, a random reboot it's going to automatically take you to this screen which could be a little bit annoying but there is a little bit added safety feature there once this comes up simply press your power key again and it reboots the system and now it will actually go into 
uh, your your ROM. The only uh, you know the only caveat to that is you know if you're if you're not aware that your phone's rebooted, obviously that could be a problem because you know now instead of your phone you know automatically you know rebooting itself, it'll just go to the Clockwork Mod screen. So it is a little bit of a pain, uh, not the best solution. But definitely, uh, if you want to use the Bootstrapper application, you don't want to use SafeStrap, uh, then it's definitely a, a decent option for you. Um, so that's that's uh, the Bootstrap application recovery and how to make it persistent. This is Brian with TheUnlocker.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.